I was hoping we could have a little one-on-one -on -one time. Uh-huh. You know, a fight! Don't you think it would be more fun to go head to head with a good guy rather than a bad guy? If you've played through the Dragon Ball Fighter story, which I'm sure many of you guys haven't since the majority of people had absolutely no care for the story and went straight to the versus mode, you would know that Android 21 has had various descriptions of her past that are not consistent with one another. And because of this, it brings up a rather interesting question as of Dragon Ball Super Chapter 91, where the manga now basically confirmed the canonicity of Android 21, or I don't really want to say the canonicity of Android 21, but the original human template that Android 21 was based off of, which is the character of Volmi, where we also see the character Jivo, which was obviously based off of Dr. Jerome's son, Android 16. And if you go back to the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie, you would also remember that there was actually a sequence that showed this as well, showing and proving that these characters did exist as original characters before they were converted into Android forms. But the question now is, will we ever see Android 21? Now, to be completely honest with you, I think that she would make a rather interesting character if they could somehow force her existence into Dragon Ball. But the question is, how would she become a character? Because how would we make an explanation as to how she was artificially created? Because the assumptions that she's been dead for years, especially her human form. And then, if you think of a character like Dr. Hito, like he would, you know, recreate his grandmother. Well, how would he do that? You know, because... Obviously, Dr. Hito doesn't have the talent that Dr. Jiro has, and considering the fact that he's a good guy now, it just wouldn't make sense if we were to bring her in as a villain, because if he's working with Bulma now as of Dragon Ball Super Super Heroes ending, then if anything, he would bring her back as an ally and she wouldn't work as a villain. And the whole point of Android 21 is that she works really well as a villain-like character, even though she has a good side to her. So the question would be interesting if she could come back as a villain, which would obviously create a new arc that would give Dragon Ball tension, but in all likelihood, it's just most likely that she would stay as just like a template character where the show is giving us a nod or the manga is giving us a nod of her existence, but we never actually get to see her in the actual series itself. 